Hi there, welcome to Shadow Empire. I'm Grey Hunter, and yes, if you've been following the Medusa game, I'm sorry, but you know, I lost several videos, and the new patch is not 100% compatible, so it's time to start a new game. Plus, I was kind of rolling the AI. I think the beginner AI is, for the major nations, is a bit passive. It's still fine though, because, you know, the miners will kick your ass at the start. So, I asked what people wanted to see, and they wanted an unclassified world. So I'm going to go straight through this. Um, no re-rolls, no real explanation, because, you know, if you want to watch the other explanation, there's a man reduce the world as the first one. Yeah, there's other stuff. For now, I'm just going to go straight through this and get straight into the game as quick as I can. Dum -dum -dum. Let's have a thing. Alright, so, classified world. Stay stick on normal sized. Um, detail plan, okay, just want to know what's going on with that. The theme militia, crime, tech free. No, you know, regular difficulty. That's the important one. And also, only Supreme Commander. Alright, should be okay. So. At least this will give me some idea of what's going to happen. No map, otherwise complete, so he has added that in. Excellent. This way I know the map, but I don't know anything else. I don't know where all the other zones are. That's perfect. That's what we were quite a lot first were talking about. Alright, so I'm going to go straight, no rerolls. So we're... Put it in a year, 22 hours, 6 degrees, it's going to be quite cold on it, by the looks of it. Da -da 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 -da. Only 3% mountains, 95% plains, 2% oceans. Good in the tropics, cold in the arctic. Let's just have a look at this. So far, quite a open and barren map. Okay. Let's see what happens when it adds in some vegetation. Alright, the atmosphere has had this, but it's pretty much all nitrogen. There's only a minor atmospheric firing hazard though, so we should be able to do atmospheric farming. I suppose it is nitrogen and carbon dioxide, so yeah, plants don't really care. Nothing from the alien. Issue, there's no life form, no alien biology present, it's completely lifeless. So, what we've got is mostly planes. It was colonized a thousand years ago. Life most take was on a planet. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So, although it was lifeless when it got there, it was perfect for the people to um, actually increase the oxygen. Desperate farms have rise, mining company, special deposits, mining activities, biological companies, university. Okay. So, yeah, that's really interesting. I like that. This was a barren world, but if we start in this zone, we're going to be well set. You can kind of see like humanity, humanity kind of clustered around these um, areas with a few colonies going out. Oh yeah, I'm loving this. This world's got a story to it. This is a terraformed world, and then of course the dissolution war came. Aquara 3. Didn't really have much in the way of war. Um, there's still 3 million survivors. Most of them are raiders. Um, yeah, several major companies evacuated the Titac. Um, yeah. So actually, this place wasn't hit very much by the apocalypse. It's just a dirt world. So. No hazard in the air. Major atmospheric hazard though. But still possible. 
So we can scrub a bit of... Yeah, we can get kind of a, a bit of stuff going. Yeah. Six major and six five minor. Yeah, I'm liking this. So who are we? That's the next question. Who is our regime? I want to do a bit of role playing on this. Um, you, you, you have to do that to me, don't you, Greyhold? Greyhold's pretty good. I feel like we're some like desperate farmers. I'm gonna change that second one to like a brownie colour. Oh, that's a flag. I've got that the wrong way around, haven't we? Then we want that to be a brown. And unique colour to be like a... a green. Yeah, the grey hold. Yeah, we're... we're Man. Yeah, so Greyhold is a, a collection of farmers who, you know, are here trying to generate a world, keep it going. But, yeah, hopefully we end up in place. So, I want to end up in that green bit, that seems like the most dramatic place. Okay. I want to go full commerce on this. I want to go full CEO. We have to sacrifice the old. But technology is also important, so it's followed law. And yeah, we let the right, the corporations, you, know, you let the, the toss the best rise right to the top. I would like that to be bigger in the middle, but yeah, what can you do? Hmm. Yeah, I always love the start of these games more than anything else. Alright. Drumroll, please. We're going to be in the desolate wasteland, aren't we? The previous boss must buried. Now my turn. Alright. Relative calm. Un political bonus points is useful. 12 turns, that's a nice one to start off with. Bonus political points, feasts. Yeah. Oh, we're just outside that zone. That's fine. We can expand into it. Okay, what kind of leader am I going to be? I'm going to push up. Strong up caring as well, that's how I feel. And we of course need the economic council to begin with. That's our decisions. Alright, so it's winter. We've been put at the edge of the Fertile Valley. And we need to expand into it, that's all we need to know. Because out here, we're not going to have any water. We got water, but it's desert. It's deserts and um, grasslands in this direction. Whereas in this land, it's fertile crops. But we're going to send. All right, Blake Waterlight, commander of the first SAQ. What is happening here? Oh, I think he's, he has changed a few more things. I think we've got radioactive zones. Yes. Oh, he's added that as well, which is perfect. I was saying in the last game that it was a shame that, um, you know, you think nukes would be more of an issue. Because, you know, we had all this radiation centre, but none of them seems to be doing much. And yes, he's changed it. It looks like the Fertile Valley's been nuked. That's horrific. 
That's why we're on the edge. Because all the others are dead. Okay, let's have a look at Grey Albion. That's great. Um, oh, I know what I haven't done, sorry. New patch. It's changed my, that's my default resolution. Bum, ba, dum, dum. There we go. And also, we will show AI moves is on as default. Excellent. So, that makes it a bit easier for you to read. The high command, transport hub, 500 credits, I couldn't immediately nationalize the transport hub. Well, that should be okay. Got some free folk, we found another place with another 39,000 free folk. So we're not exactly the richest of people. Let's have a look what we can construct. So say new patch may have So can we build Farm domes? Yeah, too average for open farming. We will be able to do open farming, we just have to get through the radiation. Yeah, radiation hazard one. Hmm. This is gonna make life interesting. I'm gonna skirt around, see how much of this we've got. I'm loving this, sorry. This world's got so much story. It just feels like the patch just brought out so much extra stuff. Alright, industry. Now we can afford industry one. Bureaucratic office we can't afford. The radiation treatment centers. Reduce the effect of radiation poisoning the hex. So we could build in a city. A lot of you are happy. Anti radiation. Yeah. To build a cheap anti radiation thing. Ah, we've got rail heads down as well. That's excellent. That allows you to push out your trains a little bit more. But yeah, there's not even much to be built in here. We haven't found any deposits, so that's fine. Turn one complete. Oh, leaders. We haven't looked at our leaders yet. Alright, Sirius Polaris. Capacity 2, Advisor. Mm, he's not great. But he is 78, so he won't be around for too long. I'm gonna attach him to the cover of Albion for now. Who is? Patricia. McNeil is there, capacity 3, 44. Remember the Manus School. And capacity 1, 65 again, won't be around for long. Alright, so I've got some fairly aged staff. Secretary's only 22, but she's useless, I need to replace her at some point. And then, Blaze is capacity freeze, 25. Not too bad at your job. But yeah, there's definitely a few people here need replacing. Alright, let's roll on for turn one. Hoping we can get some prospecting out. But yeah, we're trapped in the steps, we're next to a radioactive wasteland. So the best part to fill building is for covering radiation. There was one nuke set off on this planet and they had to set it off right next to where I am living. Yeah, sure. Alright, so the raiders moved off.
Alright, Militia Brigade, 200 critical bone points. 40 metal, very useful. Oh, a blue project. I have to do what that is, that's a new card. Alright, let's push the Militia off, that's always a good idea at the start. Bring that down a little bit. Aye, aye, sir. Yeah. Okay, before we do that, let's recruit a couple Copy of genius. Copy that. Alright, so we've got this guy, capacity free, capacity free. Yeah, go for the guy who's got good interpersonal relations. Alright, leave that as that. Why the Economic Council is so important to begin with, it gets you the prospecting as well. It really is a default choice. Unless you're being assaulted by raiders on all sides. Alright, Imperium Missile to Imperium is a increased supply of few to the military advisors. Yep. For that much money, yeah. Copy that. So, let's have a look at strategic map. This is Imperium and the price now right up to a top. They're both miners. Well, well. We'll take a punt off in the protection. Oh, we've taken the listen to Imperium under our protection. Strong early game to diplomatic moves. And we'll get a spy. Because that looks like free folk, that's free folk. And we'll get a spy aye, aye, into yeah. there. Spend those political points. Ah, the advisors are up. Here yeah, now. Uh, that's better, I'll have it pop up every turn. Okay. We've reached diplomatic standing with them. We can't move through their lands. So I'm going to send you down to here for next turn. Mosmet are. Uh, Twenty-four thousand free folk. I think the solar range at the bottom is also radioactive. All right, so we've expected diplomatics for these guys. Well, what we'll, we'll try is we'll try and bring them into the fold as much as possible. Hopefully we'll see some prospecting next turn. We're getting some more troops. Can we get independent buggies? Not yet. We're short on the production. Ah, oh, no, we don't want to do the battalion. There we go. Those buggies will just help us push out the um, the empire. I'm going to be heading off to these ruins next to get some mining going. Let's go around the radiation zone. I may send some troops in just to see what the effects are. Because if they're manageable, I really do want to get someone into that. Farming zone. Even if it is just. Because I can manage radiation in a few tiles. Just to get some farming going. I'll have to look at grunts actually. 
See what our radiation um, thing is like. Oh, right, we have to move on those guys. They're too close to Albion. And the Unaligned forces attack them. We take 100 losses but kill 400 of their troops. New Tech University, yes. 12 machinery, that's perfect. Commercial project. Ah, we've got a new mercenary guy as well. Okay. So you took fire from this guy here. You can move up to attack there. You can move up to attack there. You can move down to here. You can move up to here. And we could lay in some bombardment on them. 3,100 of them. Oh, guys are low on experience. That kind of lower their readiness. If they attack next turn, it's going to be a poor move by them. I feel like I've got to expand across this guy's border. Oh, we found another place. No, oh, we found a major regime already. Already, everyone's clustered around the edge of the Fertile Valley. But look, this bit here is not. Pretty radiated. Alright. I'm gonna push you into the radiation zone. Low tech weaponry and thermal clothing. We'll see how you're affected by the radiation next turn. With 230, that. They're in a red level 1. If I can just get a little setup in here. That'd be great. Free housing and Reich are dissatisfied. We promised to invade, and also fifth column. Twelve rounds. We can do that. Copy that. All right, we're going to go on an early offensive into the Frisian Reich. Free housing, because they have got. Some nice. What's their city like? There's 56,000 people They're at the top of the map, but the poles. We've got Homedale. The hot baths, which are. Happiness plus one every turn. Yeah, right. 12 turns isn't too long either. We could probably save up for a. Um, from military battalion in that time. Let's see what these raiders do then. Alright, I need to nip into that you know, green lance as quickly as I can. But yeah, we're definitely saving up for an infantry battalion now. Really good, aggressive moves from Greyhold. Oh, he's moving north, that guy's attacking there. It's fine, I wanted to move my troops north. Yeah, no decision, that's unusual. Who's got low supplies? Oh, you got cut off, probably by Raider. Yep. You're screwed. Right. If you go to there, you can attack. Oh, 
Alright, what are we looking for? A regiment. Brigade. 55 production we've got. We just need another 3 turns to raid the infantry. We can do that. Artillery ain't great, but it's, it's putting some fire down. All right, let's open contact with these guys. Need a recon, okay. That's not some buys in. Ah, oh, okay, that's only care about ops type one as well. That's the zoo project. Let's do a level of the zoo. Okay. Yes, sir. I hope you know the commercial area yes, sir. and the zoo. Madam Tech Field Discovery for two freight points. And we'll keep hold of them. Alright. That's me about done for this one, I think. Hopefully you'll join subscribe if you haven't already, and then join me for the continued expansion of Greyhold, because this is shaping up to be nice. This is going to be a major war over this, like the one green part of this planet. I love it. Alright, see you next time.